Hi everyone, I'm Terry Burton. I'm the manager of the warehouse and distribution operation for CEPI MUSA. We distribute uh, CEPI products and genuine replacement parts for all of the U.S. out of our warehouse in Ohio. Today I'm here to show you how to install a Mini 4 CL on a skid steer loader. Before we start, let's talk about safety. To protect the operator, let's make sure that our loader is equipped with a impact resistant front window or front door. It's mandatory for safe operation of any forestry mulcher and please don't operate the machine without that protection. Okay, let's start with hooking up your mulcher to the quick attach and make sure that the pins are locked firmly. Next, we connect the three hoses to the loader. The hoses should make a smooth S-curve when you're looking at it from the side. Ideally, the hoses will have to follow the movement of the bucket tilt to keep it as short as possible. Most loaders require an electrical connection to control the electric opening and closing of the hood. CEPI will supply the specific wirings for each different loader. Connect the electrical plug to the loader. Now you're good to go. Get in the cab and try to operate the machine. And congratulations, you've managed to install the attachment. Now let's make sure it's properly tuned. To do this, you will need a laser tachometer like this one. You can get that from CEPI or from most any industrial tool shop. The first thing you need to do is to measure the maximum working pressure. To do that, place a rotor on a stump or you can use a big piece of wood that cannot move. And that way, you're, when you bring your loader to full throttle, it will show the maximum pressure. Now bring your loader to full throttle and try to activate the rotor. The rotor is blocked, so now you can read the maximum pressure for the pressure gauge on the machine. The maximum pressure should be around 240 bar, or as specified by the manufacturer of your loader. More pressure means more power, of course, and if, you, if the pressure is okay, we can go to the next step. We're going to measure flow and revolutions. Open the cover on the left-hand side of your mulcher. Place a reflective sticker on the shaft. Now, using the laser tachometer, measure the speed of the rotor shaft while the, you power up the machine at full throttle. The optimum speed of the rotor is 2,000 to 2,400 RPM. With the speed measurement, you can actually calculate the actual flow of your loader. Multiply the RPM by 18 and then divide by 1,000 to get the flow in gallons per minute. Note that this calculation is valid only for the initial factory setting. If you don't get the expected flow, please make sure that the high flow is turned on on your loader. If you're confident that you're getting the proper flow, you can start fine-tuning the machine. On low-flow machines, if you're around 20 gallons per minute, it's recommended that you swap the pulleys first and then leave the fine-tuning for later. You can set the speed by adjusting a set screw on the motor. Spin the set screw inward to get less speed and outward to get more speed. Once you have set the RPM, you will need to adjust the shifting pressure. The shifting pressure should be around 80% of your maximum working pressure. That means if you have a working pressure of 3,500 PSI, the shifting pressure should be around 2,800. From the factory, the shifting pressure is set at 3,200 PSI. You can change the shifting pressure by tuning the second set screw on your motor. With every turn, your shift pressure will increase or decrease by 1,300 PSI. So if you need to bring the shift pressure to 2,800 PSI, you'll need to turn the set screw outwards by one-third of a turn. Bye everyone, enjoy your Seppi Vulture.